Instigator or victim, that's the focus of today's opening statements in day two of the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. Rittenhouse accused of killing two people and wounding a third during protest in Kenosha last year. Brady Mallory takes us to court to show us how attorneys from both sides are painting a very different picture of what happened. Brady? Well, Rittenhouse faces life in prison if convicted of homicide. The prosecutor says Rittenhouse instigated the confrontation that led him to shoot three men in Kenosha during a protest against racial injustice. One of the victims who died was shot in the back. Rittenhouse's attorney says his client was trying to defend himself after one of the men dove for his gun and others kicked him in the face and clubbed him in the head with a skateboard. And yet, the only person who killed anyone was the defendant. There are fireworks going off, which is a loud noise, sounds like gunfire. There are fire, guns being discharged, the sound of gunfire throughout our community that night. Hundreds of people are there experiencing this, and yet the only one who kills anyone is the defendant. He acted in self-defense, ladies and gentlemen. The evidence will show that his actions on August 25th of 2020 were reasonable under the circumstances as they existed that night being attacked by Mr. Rosenbaum. Well, jury members were seated yesterday despite concerns over finding members who have not already made up their minds about this case. We are continuing to follow this trial and we will bring you more testimony tonight at 5 and 6.